the village of Tofter, Fair Islands. Everything here is nothing but ships, boats and cars. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Engines don't interest me. Except maybe jet engines. I've always wanted to fly as long as I can remember. In fact, I am a pilot. Not in this world, in that one. There I fly. Big jets. The Airbus 319 is my favorite. But of course, you can't make a living flying jet planes on a computer. My real job is building airports, big international airports. Right now, I'm working on two airports, the Almaty Airport in Kazakhstan and the airport in Ottawa, Canada. I'm building them from home on my computer. Let me explain. For the past 30 years, flight simulators have been a lifestyle hobby for hundreds of thousands of people around the world. The Microsoft Flight Simulator system has been a good stable platform for all these flight junkies to fly in. You can fly all around the world. They've incorporated all the airports of the world. The problem is though that they are not exceptionally pretty, most of them. The programmers don't have enough capacity and time to design all 24,000 airports in detail. That's why they often just look like a simple road strip on the ground, placed at the right coordinates. That's where I come in. I built super detailed airports, which can be integrated into the simulator, making this look like this. That's Billund Airport in Denmark, my best seller. I scavenge the net for pictures and data about the airport. I use satellite photos from Google Earth for templates for placing buildings. When I'm finished with all the modeling, I collect photos to add textures to the buildings. The textures are tweaked and then projected onto the walls. That's when the airport starts to come alive. Not to forget all the cars, signs, stairs, trash cans, etc. It's not that I am daily commuting to airports around the world to take photos. Oh no. I use people for that. People that I found on the net. People who have access to the right places. In Billund, I found a tow truck driver. He took a ride around the airport with a camera. When the airports are done, I put them up for sale on my homepage. They are not expensive compared to the work I've put into them. But the number of potential clients is huge. I sold about 4,000 copies of Bildung so far, so there is some money to be made. Enough to keep me going here in Tofter. I'm also working on some other projects. There's this system which can be installed into the simulator. It simulates economy and passenger satisfaction. I'm not a programmer myself, but I found someone on the net who does that for me. I got a mail from Kazakhstan the other day. They've heard a rumor that I'm building their Almaty airport. And now they want me to build three more airports in Kazakhstan. I'm looking forward to that, but I'm not going to be traveling all the way to Kazakhstan myself. That's too far for a guy like me from Tofter. But I just might, just might take a trip 
around Kazakhstan in my Airbus one of these days. My name is Simon Nordendal. I live in the Faroe Islands and I run my own company, Asurafiles.com.